the mule deer herds along the eastern greater Yellowstone have never had their migration corridors mapped in detail. Hello, my name is Matt Coffin. I'm the director of the Wyoming Migration Initiative. We're here in on the North Fork of the Shoshone River. This is the winter range of the Upper Shoshone Mule Deer Herd. It's one of five herds that we've been collaring this week to map and delineate their migration corridors. The way we've been catching these animals is with a helicopter net gun. You see the helicopter here coming in. It's bringing in, I think, our last deer. Uh, so that animal was uh, shot with a net gun and then uh, hobbled and blindfolded and slung up under the helicopter from a couple miles away. Our crew will draw blood on the animal, measure their body fat. This time of the year we also check to see if they're pregnant uh, and then of course we'll put the, the tracking collar on them. Right behind me you're, you're seeing the last mule deer that we've caught once it's released. Uh, probably in a couple weeks, two to three weeks, uh, especially if it starts to warm up. This animal will start to migrate off of its winter range up into Yellowstone. We know some of these animals go up into Yellowstone and down into Grand Teton, and others we haven't yet uh, tracked, and we don't know where they might go. And there she goes. One of the unique things about this study that we're really excited about is that these are satellite collars, and so every three days our research team will get an update from these animals. We'll produce maps every week showing how these animals begin their migrations and move across the landscape. So the public will be allowed to really discover these migration routes with us as, they, as the deer begin to reveal them across the greater Yellowstone landscape. So we're finishing up a great week. We've, uh, we, we've, we had a little bit of weather, some, some high winds. In fact, it was windy for, the, for about the first three to maybe four days of, of this week. But uh, we've had a, we have a great uh, capture crew, pilot, and, and muggers who um, are able to fly in some amazing country and even in some inclement weather. Uh, I think most of yesterday our captures were in the snow. Now we, we've sort of done our part and now it's, now it's time for the deer to do their part. We think it's going to be really exciting.